Apparently, we're going to rewrite alt tab to save 0.1 second. Causes <laughs> this causes cancer. That's such an insane starting to this. So I'm very excited. I have this program that replaces alt tabbing, but it's pretty trash. And I want to rewrite it in C. The point of this program is to make it easier switching programs so that you don't need to have a stroke with your hand. This is how you look trying to find the program you want to switch to because Bill Gates keeps moving them. You don't know where Bill is going to. Okay, so very intense intro, but I completely agree with this. I have said for so long, why are you using alt tab? Like, what is your problem? Why would you ever do this? Why would you ever do this? This makes no sense. Don't do that. Put the program so every time you try to switch, you lose your train of thought. We as software yes. engineers are thinkers. Our primary job is to think. 110% of your brain should be focused on solving a problem. If you have to think about where did Billy put my program again, you just lose out on your brain power and you do a much worse job. Now, the problem here is little Billy likes changing his mind. He put Chrome here and now he wants to put it on the other side of the earth for some reason. And now we want to play a little game with him. It's called Box. You don't know where is going to put the programs but you do know the name of the program you want to switch to so my idea was that you can switch programs by just typing the first letter of the name of the program so let's say you want to switch to chrome you just press c you don't have to break your hand i've had this idea for a long time and I okay that's pretty good it's a pretty good alteration but i still i argue that fuzzy finding of pr uh, programs not good i don't want to fuzzy find i just want it to work and that's it i don't want to think like when i'm when i'm when i'm here i just go like this i want to program program I want to go back to our video here. I want to go to chat. I want to go to here. I don't want to have to think, right? I'm not a fan of thinking. I'm a fan of just doing. Uh, one monitor for each program. Ooh, that seems efficient. Here we go. Okay, let's see how he does this. Program. I want to see how so he let's does see. This. You want to switch to Chrome? You just press C. You don't have to break your hand. I've had this idea for a long time, and I was done having strokes, so I implemented a simple prototype in AutoKey. You just press the activation button, right shift in this case, and you just switch the program. What the hell is AutoKey? It's a scripting language for Windows to automate macros, keyboard input, mouse input. I should probably be careful because AutoKey has kind of like a cult following, but it's trash. And my version of the program also had performance issues. I used to press a key and it just like didn't care, bro. To start making this program. Can I, can I make an alternative suggestion? Because it sounds like some people, you know, really love auto hotkey and, and all this. Um, yeah, that, that, that's my alternative. Yeah, that's it. My alternative suggestion is maybe, maybe you should just use Arch. If it's good enough for Steam OS, it should be good enough for that crimes and gate it will then start developing for the for steam screw everybody else good suggestion thank you yeah yeah like you can it's good enough for pewdiepie it's good enough for you yeah you need it turns out you don't even need to use windows have you ever thought about that no you haven't 2025 is actually the year of the linux de desktop um, i just need a little bit of ui i need to draw something to the screen yeah. and that is just a little bit of text i don't need anything fancy i don't even need buttons i just want text for now and i need to interact a little bit with the windows api why is a fly flying here? that should be super easy i hope it is it was now when, I when has anyone ever thought interacting with windows api is going to be easy uh, for those that don't know, I mean, I used to do a little bit of little bit of Windows programming, and to get up a window so that you could do DirectX on it. This is DirectX eight back in the day. Okay, it's literally like something like 130 lines of code. It's awful. And then every single DirectX API is all capital letters. I actually got wrist pain from just pressing this button and shifting. Why are you so many capital letters? Old DirectX was terrible. Bro, DirectX it, boilerplate as well. Dude, it's all boilerplate. Caps lock exists. Seriously, right now, type one in the chat if you've remapped your caps lock. Okay, Atheist, who suggested caps lock? What the hell are we supposed to do? Caps lock is literally boomer mode. Shift that. Yeah, dude, just shift it. Caps lock is for boomers. Call me a boomer? Why do boomers call boomers boomers? I don't get it. We should be at least, I mean, like, I get it. I'm a boomer. We should be banding together, though, okay? I start a new project. I would usually ask ChatGPT to get a quick overview of things, but back then, there was no ChatGPT. I know, scary. Damn. I'm sorry for the jump scare. So I just Googled to find a good UI framework, <laughs> library, <or> some... <laughs> that was a good joke. Did you guys see that sweet joke? Googling Scared. Google. So I just Googled to find a good UI framework library. Someone suggested React Native. Looking at the new Windows 11 start menu, I think that wouldn't have been a good idea. And someone also suggested Electron. Looking at Discord, I think that wouldn't have been a good idea. So at the time, I did a ton of things in Unity and I, I knew C Sharp already pretty well. So I was thinking hmm, maybe it's a good idea to make Windows apps in C Sharp because you know, Microsoft made Windows 
and C Sharp. I mean, Microsoft, the multi billion dollar company, makes an OS, makes a language. Probably the language has some good ways of making programs in their OS. So I started searching how to make Windows apps in C Sharp and I found. You would actually think he's right on this one. You would think it'd be just like a couple quick lines of code call it a day like this this actually feels like he's 100 percent correct in pointing out developing a program on windows in windows language i'm you know what i'm actually offended right now like i'm so upset internally inter like i'm 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 angry all of a sudden oh sweet summer child i know all this i'm just like ang like it just reminds me of the reason why i never want to do anything with windows every single time microsoft is a company that i swear continues not because they make good products, but because they eventually can make a product good enough, but they can last longer than all the competition because the young one that comes in and be like, I'm really awesome. It's like, cool, see you in 10 years. And then that, the young company just, just dies and Windows just keeps on windowing. It's crazy. Just, just a few options. But speaking of that, didn't, didn't OpenAI switch from as, as, as aware, as you, as aware? It switched from as you wear to Oracle. Larry Ellison's back to being the second richest person again. Yo, what the hell is that all about? Guys, why do you keep making Larry Ellison rich? What are you doing? Who buys Oracle today? He's a lawnmower. Man's a lawnmower. How does this keep happening? WinUI is a native user experience UX oh, nice. framework for both Windows Desktop and UWPF. Oh, I love this scene. So at that point, I was thinking, okay, you know what? I don't need anything crazy. I'm just going to use WinForms. It's the Microsoft Windows UI library. That should be good enough. Okay, so I decided the library. Okay, how do I actually start making UI now? I just had to follow these simple steps. Step one, download Visual Studio. Not the Soy Dev VS Code version, but the actual Chad, Giga Chad Visual Studio. Visual Studios is somehow worse than VS Code. How's that even possible? How's a product that was good at one point? Take it back, it's perfect. It's not. But to be fair, it is good at C it is very good at C debugging. Okay. But so is IntelliJ. VS Code 2003 was peak VS Code. It was so good. You don't even know. You don't even know how good Visual Dude, do you guys remember Visual Studio Express? The Express editions were so good. They were simple. I got flashbacks for making VS extensions. Yeah, welcome. NetBeans. I used a lot of NetBeans, by the way. I was a NetBeans captain during this time. Okay, there was nothing I loved more than a good old fashioned NetBeans experience. Writing some Java 1.6, mmm, it was good. Version that crashes the moment you try to code in it. Download.net development. Create a new WinForms project and find out how the hell stuff even works. Because at this point, I was like a chicken thrown into water, bro. I didn't even know what I didn't even know what to do. But you know what? Documentation is for big. This is a fever dream. I thought my videos were fever dreams. This is a fever dream. This is an actual fever dream. What was that chicken scene? Whatever this, whatever's happening on the screen seems perfectly reasonable. But you know what? Documentation is for beta males. Real men don't need it. So I did random things until they worked. When there yep. was an issue, True. I just Googled. But I'm not used to things being actually easy to do. To create UI, you just make a form and you open it in the designer. Now, when you want to add a button, for example, you just go over the toolbox, get the button, boom, and you got a button. It works by generating code hidden away somewhere. You don't have to think about it. Don't think. Almond style braces, right? These are called almond style. It's one of the reasons why I think I could never write C sharp. I know that's a, that's very, very petty, but I am very petty. You can configure everything in settings. I like to pretend you can't, and that's that. Just let me have my excuses for why I don't want to program on Windows. Can I just can I just have really stupid excuses and just stick to that and instead of being corrected every time I say a word it's like oh actually no you could actually totally no I don't want to do that I don't want I don't I don't want to think about it it's so easy look people much smarter have done the work for you until Microsoft personally appears in your room vomits random errors onto your computer that you have to fix for the rest of the day. Now we have the UI Ugh. part checked. The next thing that we have to do is we Ugh. have to get keyboard input from the user and do something based on that. So in WinForms, there's a built-in way to get keyboard input, but that only works when the program is actually open. But what yep. we need to do is whatever program is open, even if you have open Candy Crush Saga, it doesn't matter. We have to get the input from the user. So I had to use something. Can we just agree that it's easier at this point just to use Arch Linux? 
and then just to just to use Wayland and and whatever this is Hyperland. Just install like on it, but just install I, uh, Arch Pro. This is actually this is actually easier. Something else called a low level keyboard hook. What the hell is that? This is the lowest software level of input that you can get from the Windows OS to actually do something with the input. Using the hook, we can now get keyboard input from any program. So that okay. means that if I press right shift, I should be able to see my program open up. Wow, incredible. It actually works. Who would have guessed the code that I wrote months ago still works? After that miracle, we have a few things left to do. First, for Windows Switcher 9000, we have to do the actual window switching. To do that, we need to list all open programs. There's something called Enum Windows, which allows you to enumerate over every single open window. Wait a minute, that sounds like that's what I need. Well, except it gives you every window, and Windows has got a bunch of random windows running at all times doing random windows things. Yeah, the task bar yeah that's a window yeah the battery meter yeah that's a window as well i'm on a desktop that's a window okay I, can see, buy. I don't even have a battery. Instead of that, okay. we use Enum Windows and check whether the window is a sane window and not a Billy window. And if it is a Billy window, we just don't add it to the list. Now, let's see how this works. Wait, what's a Billy window? Am I actually, is this one of his naming conventions that he just made up or is Billy window a real thing? Windows and check whether the window is a sane window and not a Billy window. And if it is a Billy window. Oh, Bill Gates window. Okay. It's a Bill Gates joke. Sorry, I missed it. I actually just try never to think about Bill Gates ever for any reason. We just don't add it to the list. Okay, to be fair, I still think about him jumping over a chair. Like, I can't stop thinking about it. it, it there has to be a well-known and well-established medical disorder where you visualize Bill Gates jumping over a chair regularly. What is that called? Is that is that is that just Tourette's, but I have it mentally? I Do I have mental Tourette's about Bill Gates? Oh, it's called love. It's love. Oh, okay, okay. Gates syndrome. Dude, it's just PTSD. Is that all it is? I just can't stop thinking about how close he was. Like, I, I just, he was so close to altering the entire course of Microsoft. If he would have screwed that up, which he was, we're talking like an inch away. It was so close. Now, let's see how this works. It looks fine, but when I activate Windows Switcher 9000 and press a key fast enough, it doesn't. Wait, is he using Ubuntu? That's, that's literally the Ubuntu color scheme. And there's two A's. What are you going to do there, dummy? detect the key press i guess what's happening is that i start the program while it's starting up i press the switching key and so it doesn't register the key press because it's still starting up one thing i did suspect at mm. the time as a master detective is that maybe the winforms ui is too slow what? and that could be slowing us down but i mean that can't be the case i mean it's probably so well optimized and it worked winforms was the issue I've written all my code on top of WinForms, and if I change WinForms and use another UI library, I have to rewrite everything. Maybe I can just use direct draw commands instead of the UI handling the layout. Through my vast, incomprehensible knowledge, I found out that there's something called GDI, which actually allows you to do that. So let's just rewrite all of the code. That's gonna be exciting. This is our new code. It's amazing. It's incredible. Did you see this? Who wrote that old code? I have Dude, I I'm just saying, man, Arch, I did not have to do this much. I did not I did not have to do this much. What is GDI? So GDI just allows you to just just draw directly to the um like you just you just draw directly. There's some sort of access to some sort of low level primitive. Do you just do you get direct X? Does it stand for go do it? Okay. This is healthy uh to my TikTok brain. This is healthy. GDI <laughs> GDI is some graphics drawing interface. It has primitives like uh, Savage and Canvas. Oh, okay. It's absolutely not DirectX. Why is it not DirectX? If it's if it's graphical direct interface, if it's Gates direct interface, then yeah, that that seems reasonable. I have no idea. Can't be me. And oh my God, it's working. Incredible. The whole point of the whole reason I use WinForms was to do the UI handling, but I had to handle the UI myself anyways. That's working now, but there's still two problems left. Yep. And once I fixed them, I thought I was done. But then something shocking happened. When there are two programs with the same letter, C for example, I have to write a program which fixes those conflicts. It assigns a second letter to the activation key. See, this is not good. This I knew this. This is what was coming. This is the same reason why I don't use Vimium. You see, he's still searching with his eyeballs, right? It's CA versus CS. Like, I can't do that. This is why I do this, okay? If I can't do this, waifu, like, if I can't do that, then it just, it doesn't, it waifu, it doesn't count, right? Like, I need it to be non-thoughtful. Next, we store a config file. The user can check. 
I do appreciate bleeping JSON. Okay. I do. Change it so that instead of opening Chrome with C, you can open it by typing Chrome or by typing browser. And the last thing I had to do was to make a simple UI, a really beautiful UI, might I add. And with that hard work done, I could finally relax. I built my program. I started using it myself and I was done from the shackles of all tab. I was living in bliss. Then I gave the program to my brother as well to make him a dick. He was having an absolute blast until he wasn't. The program was still too slow on his PC. I guess I have no other choice than to rewrite it in C. That's the ending? Dude, I got blue balled. Dude, what What the hell did I just watch? Adam Basis, you're getting a thumbs up and you're getting a subscribe. That was awesome. Dude, what? Absolute cinema. Everyone go like him. Not only did we all just en enjoy absolute cinema... We also got to have a, just a little bit of, is this what Gen Z feels like? Is this, this is what it feels like to be Gen Z? I'm a, am I fever dreaming? Is that, we see boomers called fever dreaming. What, what, what do Gen Z's call this? Is this brain rot? Well, whatever it is, I want more of it. I want to butt chug this brain rot. Hey, the name is I'm glad, dude, just use Arch. What are you doing? All of that coding just to not use Arch, just use Arch, dog. It's that simple. It's like that simple. Just do it. A gen.